Oh, hello there. How are you doing? I'm still well. I'm still here. I'm still alive. Isn't it remarkable? Oh, and by the way, a very happy Pentecost Sunday to you all. I hope that you're having a good time. Anyway, I am about to escape again. Don't tell anybody, will you? Shh. It's our secret. And where am I going to go to today? Well, I decided I need to go somewhere different. So, taking a recommendation from one of the people who watches this channel, I'm going to fly from Rio de Janeiro to Sao Paulo in Brazil. I'm going to take the exact same route that an airline is called Gol Transportes Aereos and it was their flight number 1001. That flies from Rio de Janeiro and it left gate 4 of Santos Dumont Regional Airport on Wednesday the 25th of March and it arrived in Sao Paulo at gate 12 in Congonjas in Sao Paulo. Now I'm going to mimic that same flight. I like shorter flights. There's a lot more to do. It's a lot more busier. So this flight is about an hour long and that's from block time from pushing off to landing. There are some interesting little, well, what can we say, challenges with this one because the runways are a little short, you know. <laughs> and with the Rio airport, the, you're either in the air when you get to the end of the runway or your aeroplane becomes a boat. <laughs> so. I am going to do that route and it's a lovely route. I managed to find a uh, scenery for the airport in Rio. I don't have one unfortunately for the one in Sao Paulo so we've just got the standard Lockheed Martin version for that. Hope that you'll be okay with that. So let's have a look at what we're going to do and then we'll get cracking shall we. Right here you can see the route. It departs from Rio and goes straight down the coast, comes in and then lands here at Sao Paulo. I have, here's the airport for the departure and we are going to be about right here at stand number four because this is where they left from when they did this flight over two months ago. We'll taxi out and go down to the end of runway 20, uh, end of runway 02 I should say, right, because that is the longest runway that they've got there. It is 4,341 feet long and I'm going to use every foot of it. Now, when we get to the destination airport, the airport there, and I'm going to be coming in on, actually, I had planned to come in on 35 left, but at the last minute, the wind shifted, as it does at this time of year. So I had to come around and land on 17 right. Here I've got a little bit more, 6,365 feet. But again, I used all the runway in order to come to a full stop. Remember, I set Ryanair 186 up with a full load of passengers. Everybody's happy. Everybody wants to be on my aeroplane. <laughs> so it is absolutely jam-packed full. And of course, not to mention all the champagne and caviar and all the other goodies that we put on. Ha! As if, right? <laughs> anyway, 
that's what we're going to do. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's go jump in the aeroplane and let's take off. Let's escape to Brazil, shall we? Come on in, take your seat, and let's start Ryanair 186, shall we? You remember how to do this? Easy enough. Batteries on. Get the fuel pumps on. And start the auxiliary power unit. You remember where that's at? That's right, it's in the tail of the aircraft. Now we'll be watching this dial and uh, watching the EGT rise and then when it comes back to about 40 then this light will come on and then we will switch the bus to the generated power coming from the APU. There we are. Now we're generating 115 volts. Now I can go ahead and turn on the emergency lights. No smoking, fasten seat belts. The left and the right window heat. Left and the right probes. Electrical pumps. There's the APU bleed, so now we can turn on the air conditioning to the main cabin and we can set this for steady, so that's our position. Now we will turn on the IRS for the left and the right. Let's see if we get the arches coming up. There's the left and there's the right. All we need to do now is put in our location. So we're SBRJ. That's where we're at. Rio de Janeiro and at Santos Dumont Airport. There's our position. Put in our route, of course we cheat with this because we've got PDMG, so we just automatically put it in. And then Ryanair 186 is our flight number, so we'll put that in, activate, and we've got that. Now we'll do our fix for SBSP. for four miles, for 10 miles, and for 30 miles. Now we'll do our descent forecast. So we'll altitude 200, 150, 100, and it's 1019 is the Q&H. And then the wind and speed at those altitudes is 250 and 18, 250 and 11, and 321 at 13. All right, execute. Now let's tune in to the ATIS and see what our departure is likely to be. Santos Dumont, airport information, Victor 1103, Zulu, wind 023 at 5, visibility greater than 20 miles, sky condition, few clouds at 1300, temperature 23, dew point 21, altimeter 1015. Landing and departing runway to right and runway to left. The FR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have. Victor. Well, we have Victor. And 
the Q&H is 1015. We'll be departing from runway 02 right and we'll be on the 1H1C SID. And when we arrive, we'll be arriving on ILS Zulu 35 left. And we'll be coming in on the Pago 2A. Now let's go ahead and check our route. got a good route. Okay. Right, next thing that we'll do is we'll perform the initialization. Our planned fuel altogether, this is taxi and flight, is 5.5. Reserves are 3.1. Cost index is 10. We're flying at flight level 320. And the cruise wind is 261.19. And execute. Now we'll put 32,000 feet up in here because that's going to be our cruising altitude. This is for the pressurization of the cabin and the runway elevation is 2,630 feet so we need to set this for 2,650. This is for pressurization and comfort for the flight. And we'll put this to 32,000 in anticipation of that. Now, and one limit, 23 degrees is good. We're gonna use flaps 10. It's a short runway here. And it says we're going to be at 142. Let's see now if we've got a, a good flight plan. We've got green lights on both of these. Okay. And localizer there is 109.7. So we'll put that in. Good. And the radio will be coming in on a radio altitude of 200 feet. So this will give us the minimums for when we make our uh, approach into Sao Paulo. There we are. Okay. Well, we seem to be ready. I think all of our passengers are all on board, so we'll bring up the stairs, close the doors, watch for the lights to go off,
Rio Grande, Ryanair 186 with Yankee request taxi for takeoff south departure. Ryanair 186 taxi to and hold short at runway 2 right via taxiway. Julia Delta contact tower on 118.7 when ready. Taxi hold short runway 2 right via taxiway. Juliet Delta Ryanair 186. Okay, we have been given our clearance. Just do a quick check on the board. Everything looks good. Everybody's sitting down. Tell the attendants that we're getting ready to start the engines and we're going to do a pushback and put the tail over in that direction as we do so. So, brake off, air conditioning off. And we'll start engines number one today. So we'll put that on to start. When it gets to 24 on this screen, we'll bring the fuel up from off into idle. Hope there aren't any kamikaze drivers here. Okay, 24, fuel to idle. We're looking for 115 volts on the AC. We have 115 volts. Good. Now we'll switch to two and start engine number two. And we're in position now for taxi, so we'll stop the pushback, put the handbrake on, We've got 24 on there, so we'll introduce the fuel to idle. We're looking for 115 volts to show up. We have 115 volts. We have a good start on engine two. So now we're going to switch to the generators from the engines and Turn the air conditioning back on. I'm sure the passengers would be delighted at that. And then we turn off the APU. Right. Taxi lights are on. Steady. And let's get our navigation lights going. And let the cabin crew know we are now going to move. Okay. Set the auto brake to RTO. And flaps to 10. Brake off. Apply a little power. Say thank you to the ground crew. taxi out to the end of runway zero to right. As I say, this is a short runway, so we're doing flaps 10. And when I get out onto the end of runway 02, I'm going to use as much of that runway as I possibly can. Now, crossing over runway 2 left, just make sure nothing is coming. We're all clear. 
turn on to the tower. Request clearance. Rio Tower, Ryanair 186, Ridia, runway 2, right, south, departure. Ryanair 186, cleared for takeoff, runway 2, right, departure to the south, approved. Cleared for takeoff, runway 2, right, Ryanair 186. Okay, we've been given our takeoff clearance. Everything looks good. Nice scenery here, by the way. And I'm going to, as I say, get all the way as far as I can and make the maximum use of the runway. So, now I'm going to swing it rather hard. on the runway, break on, lights are all on, engines continuous, attendance, we're getting ready to take off, cross check, everything is set, flaps at 10, RTO, and TCAS is now on. Start the clock, phones are off, and we are ready to apply takeoff power. go to work. Hopefully bring us another cuppa. <laughs> Bad chance, eh?
since they have noise abatement here at Rio, we are following the proper procedures for departure. procedures for departure. Once we swing around here we'll be able to speed up and then climb to our assigned altitude which is 32,000 feet. There we go, you can hear the engines rev up. really amazing that it actually works. Of course, this is a simulator, but if we didn't do the same thing that they do in an actual aircraft, then it wouldn't work. So, that's the beauty of this. Coming up on 10,000 feet, turn off the lights, and air seems good. We'll turn off the passenger seatbelts and let them go wander about. Maintaining social distancing, of course, <laughs> as if. will be at our assigned altitude. And leaving the beautiful beaches of Rio de Janeiro behind. time is about 40 minutes. It's a short flight, easy, easy peasy. Local time here in uh, Brazil is 0824, 824 in the morning. Some uh, cloud up ahead, but 
Our radar, our weather radar isn't picking up anything, so shouldn't be too bumpy. There's about 20 miles between the top of the climb and then the start of our descent. So there's only a, it's a very short peak between the two points on the profile. tuned in to the ATIS for our destination. We're still too far away to pick them up, but at least we have the proper frequency. Sierra, Bravo, Sierra, Papa, Apple information, Charlie, one, one, zero, 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 where's that wind? One, one, two, at seven, visibility, one, zero, thousand, sky condition, nine, hundred, together, ceiling, one, thousand, one, hundred, broken, temperature, one, eight, two point, one, five, Q and H, one, zero, one, nine, and white, one, condition, contact, your information, Charlie. Well, the winds are still yeah. re relatively calm and undecided at our destination, so we'll see whether we do get to come in on runway 35 left as we hope.
we're getting up. We're at 30,000 feet, just passing. And we're almost at our top of climb, so we'll be at our cruising altitude very shortly. over the top of these clouds, so we're doing all right. Engines are Spooling back a little bit as we are on our cruise altitude now. ground speed is 380 miles an hour. We've got a bit of a headwind. The true air speed is 421, so we're running into a 60 knot headwind. Ten miles from the top of descent. Here we go, starting our descent. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain. 
I always like to say that. We have started our descent into Rio de Janeiro. We are on time and everything is fine. The wings are still on, the engines are still attached. Everything is wonderful. have a crosswind coming off the front right as the way we are we're actually pointing in that direction but we're flying in that direction the aircraft is actually turned a bit into the wind in order to maintain our course slipping right between the clouds. Very nice. Airport information Alpha 113 minor Zulu wind 110 at 5 visibility greater than 20 miles sky condition 900 scattered ceiling 1100 broken temperature 18 dew point 16 altimeter 101 minor landing and departing runway 17 right and runway 17 left BFR aircraft say direction of flight all aircraft rip back hold short instructions advise controller on initial contact you have Alpha well we are going to be coming in on runway 1 seven or right so I'd better make some changes
Airport information, Bravo. Final approach course is going to be 169 degrees. our adjustments, the programs are in, we're on our descent, we're following the flight, we're doing very good. Now, let's turn on the seatbelt sign, let's get all of our excited passengers back in their seats again.
we should be able to contact the tower in uh, just a few minutes. with Charlie to land. Ryanair 186 Sao Paulo Tower made left traffic runway 17 right altimeter 1018. Enter left traffic runway 17 right Ryanair 186. Well we have our clearance to land so put the lights on let the crew know we have been given clearance and therefore to get everything ready.
and we're approaching 9,100 feet, smooth descent, doing 205 knots at the moment. And here we go. Now uh, we're entering downwind. I will go flaps one, start to slow her up. We're going to be into some cloud in just a moment. And four, four. ISP, that's the, we're tuned to the correct VOR. And we're on a good descent, holding our speed. We'll be making a base when we get opposite the Gersu Waypoint. And the airport is down there on the left somewhere. I don't have airport scenery for this particular airport. It wasn't available, but uh, so we're going to be using the Lockheed Martin standard airport scenery for uh, Rio, uh, for uh, Sao Paulo.
now we'll be making our turn onto base in just a moment. up our landing permission in just a moment. Ryanair 
That's just to wake up the crew. This is our parking.
are and power back, brakes on, lights off, APU on and engines off. Okay. And shut down. Off, 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 and off. TCAS is off. Stairs down, hatch open, seat belts are off. Okay, that looks good. Right. And this off. shut down. Welcome to Sao Paulo.